my son got in a, a conversation with Mike Hart. Uh, they were breaking down some film because he was coaching running backs at the time that Mike Hart does. And so Tom Allen was in there. They're going over the film. And Tom Allen leaves the room, okay? And um, Mike Hart looks at my son and says, see that guy right there? I love working for him. I mean, it was one of those really declarative, he's a great coach, a great guy to work for. I mean, he just stopped yeah. the conversation, okay? And the best things are said when someone uh, behind their back. He didn't say it in front of Tom, you know, Tom Allen. He said it behind his back. Those are the most genuine comments. That told me a lot. And I, and when you watch that staff and you watch the Indiana team and you watch those players that came off the field against Wisconsin, I don't know if you saw the, 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 yeah, the, the interview, okay? Um, yeah. and, um, with, with Holly Rowe, okay? Uh, that was a great, that's one of those great moments in college football this year, to be honest with you. I think it's one of the top 10, um, uh, optic things. Yeah. And that told me that that should tell anybody who doesn't even know anything about college football. Those players love playing for that coach. And ultimately, as I just illustrated, the coaches love coaching for that coach. And that, you know, that it, it just feeds off each other. If you want any single thing that'll pump up your recruiting, just, uh, oh my over God. And over. They got so much material. They, 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 they got material for the next 10 years, John. And you know, this, this goes back to what I'm concerned about. With Michigan, uh, and I keep using that phrase stuck in the mud with Jim Harbaugh, unless there's, unless he takes a whole different philosophical change, if he is retained, is that Michigan's going kind of going south down the highway and everybody else is going northbound, if you will. Indiana, which finally beat Michigan. I could see them starting a string against Michigan of wins. As instead of 24 losses in a row, they could get a, a few going the opposite direction. I see Rutgers with with Greg Schiano, watch out for Rutgers and Greg Schiano. That is, they got a they got a great DC and Rob Smith. They got recruiting. They're they're, all, they're they're doing great in recruiting. I see them going by Michigan if Michigan doesn't do something different, you know. And then obviously you got Ohio State, and you saw that this is a glaring talent gap, a cavernous gap they have between themselves and everybody else. Penn State has played well the last couple of weeks. I'm concerned, even you know Michigan State beat Michigan this year. I mean, it's like our Michigan, Michigan State can be battling for last in the Big Ten East. These are the kind of things that I get nervous saying, but I, but they, they, they're they coming from the heart and of concern when I think of three, four more years of, of Jim Harbaugh. 